feels like it's a kind of a community effort yeah 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 definitely <laughs> this is really good and then what would you say like out of all this the content that you have produced what which one is one of your favorites so far like you're like nah this is like good things like <laughs> to be honest my favorite ones yeah is the one i just posted yesterday or the sudanese uh the pseudo dad on a day off <laughs> that one with the with the tiger blanket mm -hmm. that is that's my absolute favorite one and then me see lexi and leash the power of your creativity Hello everyone and welcome to Nisi Lexi. We are super, super excited to have our amazing guest, Jay, also known as John. He is from South Sudan, based in America. And today we're going to be dabbling more into his life as a comedian and also as a person who develop a lot of skits that are unique to family dynamic about the South Sudanese uncles and fathers. We are super excited to have him here for the first time in the Nisi Lexi show. So please welcome Jay. For those who are in Canada or the America, you probably have seen his videos already. We're super delighted to have him. Jay, welcome to the show. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Thank you for having me, Nisi. No problem. I'm super, super excited. I've been saying that, I think, to you for the past <laughs> few weeks. <laughs> right. To have you here. <laughs> yeah. We are here. Awesome. So before we start, I always wanted to just kind of like get to know more about uh, my guest. So for the people that are watching you for the first time, so who is Jay? If you can describe yourself. So Jay, 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 Jay was a nickname that was given to me by one of my friends. Um, so I, I, I used to play soccer um, and in our soccer team, they had me the bigger guy. So I was John. I was the bigger guy. And there was a little John, a shorter guy. So to differentiate from, because if the coach say John, we both look at the coach. So the coach is like, okay, we're going to call you Big John or Jay, and then we call him Little John. So that's where Jay came into place, and I just carried on. But yeah, Jay is Jay is me. Awesome. Amazing. Well, welcome, Jay. I'm super excited to discover more about the stuff that you do. Obviously, you. I have got to know you from your comedy sketch that you've been doing on TikTok. Can you uh -huh. talk more about like how did you discover your passion for comedy and what inspired you to pursue that journey? So I don't want to say that I've always known I was funny. Yeah. But for I I knew I was always funny, but like I said, I'm not trying to make it seem like oh I'm the funniest person in the world or not, but no. But I've always known I was funny, but it's just finding the platform to present that. Mm -hmm. So so when I came across TikTok even after I signed up for TikTok, I wasn't really trying to be on there as a content creator. I didn't even know what a content, a content creator was at that point. But mm -hmm. after watching other people's live, uh, uh, skits and live or whatever it is that was going on, on TikTok, mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? I, I watched this one video that was made by this Sudanese guy and I liked the voice that was, that was being used. So I was like, let me try to use the voice and let me do something with it. Mm -hmm. So I used that voice. And then I put it on my video, my first video ever that I had put out there as a, as like a skit. <laughs> that was the first one I put out there. I put it out there. I didn't, I wasn't even sure of who to, who to read the tag. Yeah. I just put in Sudanese, Sudan, whatever it was. And I just put it on there. And then a day later, it had like over a hundred thousand views. And I was like, wow. <laughs> I was like, wow. Okay. I was like, wow. So that right there, that right there told mm -hmm. me like okay i can really take this somewhere and do something with it mm -hmm. and then little by little by little little by little i started posting little skits little skits and i see and i see what was happening yeah and i was like okay like this is getting serious so now i have to take it serious and then here i am amazing so it, it just started little by little by little and then also just seeing how um some of my fans interact in the comments and what they're wanting to see and things like that made me you know keep keep you know keep going and put out more skits and here and here we are it is actually a very funny commentary like the, that you do um i believe like the first um video clip that i actually seen with you is my cousin was the one actually on tiktok playing and it was about that uncle muhammad coming to church and and then i was like i was just my, doing my work because i worked for mom was working and then all of a sudden i was hearing her like playing the tiktok live all i heard was voice i was like who's that so we all right. laughed and it was hilarious we we're like wow 
<laughs> then from there we just start going to more and more and more like other posts that you have shared on your account so you know you have you know sometimes i feel like with comedy it's like you either have it or you don't you know and for you it's feel like it's very natural you know that comes with your skit as well oh yeah and like yeah to, uh, to be honest comedy mm -hmm. has to be not even just comedy anything that you do in life it just has to come natural you can't really force it yeah because you can see from people that actually force something onto yeah. others and then you can see it happen naturally so yeah. with 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 me being a funny person that's just a natural side of me so i was like i can put that out there and make other people laugh just by doing that yeah and not because we have people that post things funny videos or whatever it is or just comedy in general they do for you know compensation or what, whatever it is you know it, mm -hmm. every, 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 everyone have their, their their reasoning of doing things but as for me i'm not really looking for no compensation i just want people to laugh <laughs> as long as as, as as long as you laugh and you have yeah. a good day my videos are making your day mm -hmm. and like i said i'm not worried about money if money comes cool if money doesn't come i will still put my stuff out there and let, yeah. let, let people see and then also I have, I, I mean, I have fans, not just here in America, but I have even some in Australia. Yeah. And so, and some in Canada, you know, they're always telling me, Jay, come to Canada, come to Australia, do stand up, do this, do that. And then like one thing uh, some people that don't really understand is stand up comedy is different than doing skits. Yeah. Those, those are two different ball games. We can, I can't be a person that does skit and jump on a stage and then try to do comedy. That's two different things. Yeah. So, but hey, but the sky's the limit. All I'm saying, but, sky's but, the limit. but since it's different, like from what you do, would you ever consider actually doing like a, a live, uh, I don't know, theater kind of act? Because that could yes. fall under your umbrella, you know? Yes, I, I wouldn't mind. To be, to be honest, uh, to be honest, it's just, it's just having resources. It's yeah. having the resources and the right connects to, yeah. you know, for, you know, for me to get somewhere that I'm trying to get to. But as for now, I'm, I, I am my only team. It's just me. There's nobody else here. I'm the man that sets, <laughs> that sets up the camera, put it however, however I want to put it. I'm the one that yeah. do the editing. It's just me right now. But of course, I want to, I want, I want to expand. I want to expand. I want to have a team. Yeah. You know, I want to, I want to put other people in my videos and do other, other greater skits. Not just, you know, not just me. But yeah. Awesome. So let, let's speak of like how you are your own, basically team right now. You know, team you. Uh -huh. You yourself and I kind of team, right? Yeah. And how do you come up with all these characters? Because each character is kind of unique. So what is like the character development for each character? What is their story like? Because, you know, they all kind of resonate to like an uncle that we know. <laughs> to, 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 to be honest, uh, like go, going to um, Sudanese parties, barbecues, mm -hmm. any festivities. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't want to say I'm the person that observes too much. <laughs> I don't really observe it just come natural because that's in our culture yeah it that's just natural for me to mimic so like for example like one of my characters joseph uh i have muhammad over here those are characters i just picked based on what i've seen out there yeah based on what i've seen oh well um joseph could be a choli uncle how, mm -hmm. how 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 does a how do a choli uncles act at certain places and i just start thinking i'm like okay i can play him this way and then here come Muhammad. Muhammad was a uncle that was once a Muslim, and he switched over to Christianity. Yeah. And and then what happened? What what like? How can I play him? And then I go back to that one day I seen an uncle um, do his uh, testimony in church, telling how you know how he was before he switched over. And now I'm like, okay, so that's easy. I can just play him. So yeah, I have a lot of character. Like even some auntie, un some of the, some of the aunties' uh, characters. Yeah. Like I want I want I want to bring them back because those were funny those 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 uh those aunties are those are aunties were like the real skits those were you know i i started playing aunties first and then that's when i came in with the uncles so yeah like i said once i once i get bigger in terms of having team mm -hmm. then i can bring certain characters back because just now or right now i have to kind of play ball i have to bounce here and here see what's see what's working what's not working but yeah, yeah. and and what we, and what would you say like right now is obviously with your character development, with your like strategy and even like just kind of posting and putting things content online, what, what would you say is some of your like biggest challenge that you're facing in order for you to kind of produce those uh, quality? Okay. Things? Yeah. So some of my biggest challenges, mm -hmm. 
so I so I so 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 I have an actual job. So TikTok mm-hmm. is not just my own thing. I have an <laughs> I have an I actually have two jobs. So yeah, I have two jobs, and most of the times I don't really have time to do con- uh, contents. But mm-hmm. when I do, that's when I come in here quickly. And and h- here's the thing: mm-hmm. I don't write any of my skits down. None of my skits are written on the paper, computer, nothing. I, this is just straight from my head. Yeah. I literally, my head is running. My head is like, I'm sitting here talking to you right now and I'm thinking about stuff in my head. <laughs> and that's and that's how I do it. That's how I do it. Yeah. So it's nothing written. But yeah, some of the challenges is um, different settings. Yeah. Doing things in different settings. And doing things in different settings sometimes acquire more people. Mm-hmm. And that's a challenge to not having other people to play other characters. So then I have to play them myself. Mm-hmm. So having other uh, more people, uh, different settings, and then um, yeah, just that's the biggest challenge right now. Just different settings, and uh, being able to find other people to play different characters. That would be really nice. And and also like I know a lot of your your character or the setup that you're currently doing it require like certain materials or certain props. So like, how do you select to be like, okay, you know what? This uncle should be wearing that because that will kind of make it cooler, you know? <laughs> you, you, you know what was, was, was Serenis uncles that, yeah. that, that I do play on my videos? Yeah. So, so Serenis in general, they are not hard to figure out on what they wear. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a little simple. They, one uncle can, one, one outfit can be worn by all uncles in different, in different <laughs> ways. So it's not, it's not the hardest. It's, it's, it's very simple. Now, when it comes to aunties, you know, it's, it's sometimes challenging, but it's be different, you know, <laughs> you got to find the baruka <laughs> and then, you know, the, the baruka, uh, the glasses. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it's a whole lot of things, but in terms of uncles, like even the clothes. Yeah. Like sometimes my, uh, my fans ask me like, where do you get those clothes? How do you find them? Cause <laughs> they would think these are things that was worn back in 2000s or whatever. It yeah. Is. But in reality, I just run to the, I, I run to a thrift store. I just go to a thrift store, walk around and just find different colors of stuff. And I'm <laughs> like, oh, I'm like, this is something that, I, this is something that Serena's uncle that would definitely wear. So I'm, I pick it and go mm-hmm. and put in my skits. I, I definitely seen a lot of your character from uncles that I seen in cartoon back in the days. So that is why like, it's so <laughs> hilarious because it's like, oh my God, this reminds me of uncle so-and-so. <laughs> <laughs> the way their breasts, the belt is so high and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, you, you, you know one thing I want to say. Uh, yeah. Like us Sudanese people, if <laughs> if we were people that really, if if we if we separate ourselves from what's going on, like politics, yeah, and and just try to live life, because right now it's so hard for us for 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 many to separate that. Yeah, it's like they try. It's like they 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 they're they trying to live and try to deal with politics. So it's like they have mm-hmm. no room to laugh have sense of humor nothing so it's like one thing like one thing i would wish out of our, out of our people is just to laugh one day you know because it's like I'm, I'm sure that i'm sure there are other comedians but they are so limited to what they can do because of how our people perceive it and see things yeah. and react to it because they are so sense they are so sensitive in so many ways so it's like sometimes i want to play like different characters from different tribes yeah and so then but at the same time i'm i'm, I'm also cautious because i'm like it's comedy for my side, but it might not be for them. But I feel like, you know, just because right now, like you have multiple character and mm-hmm. as fans and people are laughing about it, they'd be able to be like, oh yeah, that's, that's actually like, you know, something relatable to the uncle that we have at home. Because at the end of the day, it's like, we didn't sit in these communities. Like it doesn't matter what tribe or what culture you're coming from. All the uncles yes. have similar characters, right? Yes. So I feel yes. like if they took it to that comedy standpoint, it will actually make the entertainment a bit funnier and people can actually yeah. start enjoying your content because it's like, oh, what about that uncle? Can you do that? And stuff like that, you know? <laughs> and and like that's why I was saying once I bring more people into my into my content, yeah. then I feel like they'll feel comfortable because they're like, okay, yeah. there's more people playing different characters. Yeah. So now it's, it's, you know so not so not so like now they won't see like as if it's from one way. Yeah. It'll be like, okay, all the people in here, okay, so that's cool. Yeah. Like, we can laugh make, now. It'll make sense like it's a kind of a community effort. Yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> this is really good. And then what would you say, like, out of all this the content that you have produced, what which one is one of your favorites so far? Like you're like, nah, this is like good things. Like 
to be honest, my favorite ones yeah. is the one I just posted yesterday or the Sudanese uh the pseudo dad on their day off. <laughs> that one with the with the tiger blanket. Mm -hmm. That is that's my absolute favorite one. And then the Muhammad one is my absolute favorite one too. So that's number two. And there are there there are, there are a few more on there that I just I just can't think of right now. But yeah, yeah there's a few. There's a few. My my favorite one it was the one that is like oh you're coming from a school or something and then you open your room and then there's like a random uncle this uh, <laughs> in the phone you're like what that, that, that is so I was like I can relate to this thousand times <laughs> it could either be an uncle a kid an auntie just yeah. random sleep in your bed like that's no they didn't ask for permission like what is going on. <laughs> yeah, you can't say anything. You're just like, okay. Yeah, you know, one time and like, like this is how I get some of my skits sometimes. Like one time I came home, we um, we had we had somebody pass away in our, in our family back in Sudan. Yeah. So people came over, and I wasn't I I, I wasn't home. Yeah. I I think I was a soccer practice or something. Mm -hmm. But I came home, and I came to find out that my mom had rearranged my room. <laughs> I didn't know my room was rearranged, and it was like 30, 30 women sitting in my room wow and i wasn't warned i just walked in the house i wasn't warned i was like okay i just walked in i opened my door they're all looking at me i'm like what <laughs> i got so mad i just walked back out i went and sat in the car for like 30 minutes my mom was like um they're about to leave in a few minutes so like things like that things like that's where i get some of my, some of my ideas but, but it, it gets even worse because imagine you open that door and then all the aunties are like oh john are <laughs> <laughs> you like i'm not about to have this topic <laughs> First yeah, of all, I don't know you're here, and the second, <laughs> I'm being interrogated. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, it's it's funny. It's funny. It's funny. But yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. Wow. But yeah. Um. So another thing I wanted to like, kind of like, I was, obviously you wanted to build more people. You wanted to like develop, uh -huh. and expanding and everything like that. Um. Once you have built all the team, would you actually now kind of consider maybe producing like a long form of like i don't know short comedy movies or things like oh, that yeah yeah oh yeah like like, like even some of this so like some of the skits that i actually post on there yeah in my head they're longer yeah but i usually cut it because like i said i don't have people to play the other parts of my head that i that yeah. i have in my head so yeah. i usually just cut so i usually just cut it short and, and post what what you guys see yeah but in reality there's actually more parts to it but it wouldn't make sense if i just played myself Mm -hmm. so yeah. that's why I, so that's why i always say man i wish i and and like it's so hard because in america mm -hmm. it's so hard to find people to act like in africa it'll be easy you, you have neighbors it most basically the the whole neighborhood is a clown everybody clowns <laughs> you can find your whole neighborhood can can act but here it's it's hard to do that it's mm -hmm. hard and, have, and then have, like have you not been connecting with like other people like other comedians or other people that are doing a skit outside of America or something like that? Um, no, not really. Not really because, and here's the thing, mm -hmm. my sense of humor and, and like me just being naturally funny mm -hmm. and then looking at other comedians, mm -hmm. I can see that they're not naturally funny. It's like they're forcing it. it. Yeah. Huh? It's a script. Yeah. They, they are forcing it and because TikTok also pays because they're also wanting to get paid for it. Mm -hmm. So they're doing so 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 whatever they're doing, they're doing for payment. So they so so if you so if you want to get paid, you're gonna have to do things every day. You're gonna have yeah. to act a certain way or whatever it is. But me, yeah. I just post my stuff. I don't care about getting paid, so I'm natural. I just I just post it on there. So you mm -hmm. can like sometimes you can tell the difference between different comedians who's who's forcing it and who's just doing it. Yeah. So like me what when I say I need people in my in my team, I need people that have something close to my sense of humor. Yeah. Uh, something close to my sense of humor, so we can just click like that. Yeah. Yeah, we can just click like that. But yeah, um, and then like I'm also I'm also not I'm also not um, limiting myself. Mm -hmm. I'm open to anybody. Anybody that can come and do something, we can work together. I'm open to. It. But as far as content creators outside of America, um, I really haven't connected with to, uh, with any. Mm -hmm. And as far as here in America, there's a couple that I spoke to, mm -hmm. but it's just the distance. It's just the distance between us. Yeah. The, dis the distance kills, but yeah. and that's I, what I with, with you material, it's like, you know, it resonates with like, you know, how like when Taylor Perry first came, like even though he kind of mm -hmm. that Medea 
concept and then over the time it's kind of grew it and then now he has like a what a, he owns a whole freaking production company yeah you know? right so like don't that opportunity is there once you like start expanding and expanding to more and more things you never know like sky is not even the limit for you you know you, you know like one one other thing that i told myself i'm gonna start walking into other Sudanese houses yeah and, and then and they just be like you know what we're gonna shoot this scene right here yeah so let's get ready get your stuff together and let's do it <laughs> <laughs> and that's how Nellywood, a lot of the Nellywood movies actually uh, was yeah. like, built. Because I remember back in the days, like literally the movie, you would see like the mic is on top of this thing, but they yeah, 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 yeah. don't care. <laughs> Or like they're, they're not trying to hide you, it you know that the it'll be like uh was a very very like you know robbery scene and then they play yeah. some song you're like what the hell <laughs> <laughs> and then like oh that, like that's what that, that's one thing nollywood like when i first came yeah. to america start watching nollywood yeah nollywood is one of it's 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 i think now is why i'm funny Developed, yeah yeah like nollywood is why i am who i am today like yes. so for, uh, for example mr ibu and his and his other friends is why I am today. Yeah. So, so yeah. So you, yeah. So you, so you would say, ask me who's my idol. I would definitely say Mr. Abu and and the yes. other ones. Yeah. So yeah. They're very. Their their material is really really like well. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. even right now, like when I um go on YouTube and I see like so many like of these Nigerian like actors, they now have yeah. like own production uh channels, and they're producing like skits or movies like every every month. And the amount of views and material they're getting out of those things, obviously YouTube does pay them, but apart yeah. from the payment, like the quality of their materials actually have improved so much. And that is something like, I would hope that even from ourselves, Sudanese like you, that we can produce those quality because there's so you guys are so many talented comedians are out there. So many like great content creators, creators like you guys, I think it's just a matter of time to kind of like, you know, collaborate and actually like take serious in what the crafting that you guys are doing. And there's uh -huh. potential like people are gonna be like wow this is like you know south sudanese wood type of like productions happening <laughs> definitely definitely <laughs> yeah so I'm, I'm really looking forward to that and um for sure for sure and then what would you say is like one of your best person that you would ever want to do comedy with if you ever had a chance to like work with them who would be who would be i don't know if you i don't know if you heard this guy Dooley. Dooley, no so Dooley, Dooley's is a uh he's, he's a Sudanese guy. He, he used to do vines. Yeah. And but yeah, he, he's on there. If if you look on, he, he's on there. Dooley, so, and then his brother's yeah. name Bebo. Mm. They, yeah, they're Sudanese. Uh, they live somewhere in uh in the East Coast. But I would definitely like to do a skit with them. Yeah. Um, I don't know no other. I don't really know other Sudanese to be mm. honest. And the, the, the reason I say Dooley because I can kind of connect with him in terms yeah. of him being like natural, not trying to force it. Just he, he's just natural with it. Yeah. So I feel like I, so I feel like I can connect with that guy quickly. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I'm sure there are there are other comedians out there that I don't know of or yeah. that have not been have not been discovered yet. Mm -hmm. And of course, most of them are overseas. So that's another that's another yeah. challenge. Yeah, being overseas and being here and. Cause like I feel I, like like the way I see them being overseas, they get more attention and recognition because of yeah. how how things are how, how you know how things are over there than they are here. America, I feel like it's a competition. America is a yeah. competition. One one thing, even with the algorithm, because I am in a digital marketing space, like I uh -huh. most of the stuff I'm doing, I feel yeah. like because of our time zone and because of the geographical location that we're in, we are. Oh, yeah advantage with it when it, when it comes to like numbers like because mm -hmm. you know half of the world wake when we're going to sleep they're waking up they're so waking up posting at 3 a.m 2 a.m you're losing those amount of like half of the world that i already awake at that time by the time right. we think they're like oh i'm tired i'm going to bed right <laughs> and you're losing that momentum with the algorithm so i feel like also like you know now i understand like certain time of the day i need to post and then also um even with like my marketing ads like the reason why i also kind of target african is because most of my content is for them and it only makes sense if i'm going to be centering around them as well right so right. your craft it's the good thing is like you know it's it's in arabic and all that you have audience of a lot of south Sudanese. most of them don't watch tv and most of them are online on TikTok, and it's you have picked actually a great platform to start and then now it's just branching out to youtube and all other platforms even facebook a lot of them they get like yellow sunday free mtn mm -hmm service so that's also yeah. a message for you there to have it yeah i do see like a lot a lot of potential in the craft that you're doing and it's just a matter of time before people can you know start yeah. and you, you're building your craft as well
definitely. Yeah. And then um, another thing I would say, like from your perspective of what you know and just from your experience, what advice do you have for other people that wanted to be in your shoes? Like they wanted to also kind of start being content creator or they want to be comedians. So what would you like advise them? Like three advice that if you can give them. So I, and like I say, I'm not a big person in comedy to where I would want, I would want people to take my, my words to certain ways, but it's, yeah. I mean, advice, a, a positive advice is a positive advice. So I, I would say, Wanting, wanting to be a comedian, you would already have to be a comedian. Yeah. You would already have to be a natural comedian for you to want Because if you say you want to be a comedian, that means you want to take your 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 comedy, a sense of humor, to a different platform. Mm -hmm. And and then um, uh, uh, present it to a uh, different audience. Mm -hmm. So, of course, you would, first of all, you have to be natural. Because if, you, if you're natural, you're able to go a long way. Your craft will go a long way if you're natural. But if you're the type of person that want to force it, even if you do want to force it, I mean, there's nothing wrong with forcing it. But find something that you want to do. Pick something and stick with it and see how it works. Don't mm -hmm. just jump from here, 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 trying to do all kind of thing and see if it works. It's not, it's not gonna work like that. And then also patience. You gotta have patience. Like like, like I said, when I when I when I first came here, mm -hmm. um, I didn't know I didn't know what what was gonna happen. I just started posting video, and then. I realized, oh, after ten, after you get ten thousand um, followers, you gonna get paid or monetized. Mm. But at this, but at the same time, I still didn't care about that because I didn't want that to distract me from what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Because if I if I, if I put in my head, oh, let me try to get to ten thousand real quick. Let me post this and put this and do all kind of post just to get to that ten ten thousand and then start getting monetized. I'm gonna lose what it is that I'm trying to pursue. I'm That's gonna true. get distracted and then and then end up doing other things. So patience. Um, make sure you're one hundred percent sure with what it is that you want to present to people, mm -hmm. and just just be open minded. Be open minded because you might think you're funny, but mm -hmm. the audience will also let you know if you are or not. So you got to be willing to accept that part and not take it to heart, but also let like take it as an advice and then try to uh, implement it into your craft and see how you can fix that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, because some people, um, once they get rejected or get told the wrong thing, oh, you suck, blah blah blah, then they take it the wrong way. But in reality, is if if you if you're a real comedian, you would take it and fix that, and then turn around and come back again, and then tell it on people like, oh no, you 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 thought wrong last time. So, but yeah, yeah patience, um, patience, and just make sure you know what you want to do and just stick with it. Awesome. And then um, also another thing like when it comes to like being in the public face as a, you know, content creator and things like that, it comes with a lot of like scrutiny and it comes with a yeah. lot of like, criticism. So how do you handle that? Because I remember for me, like the first video I put out like about almost 10 years ago when I was like in my teen years, I got a okay. few dislikes. I was I went to my cousin straight. I was like, did you dislike my video? Like I was the typical person. I was just like, no. <laughs> So, uh, I'm ready, you know, but then I kind of have to like calm down and now have to like, I literally just kind of like block all the naysayers. And sometimes like, you know, when, when you want to do something, people are like, oh, it doesn't work. It's not going to be like that. You know, like, how do you deal with those kind of like, you know, negative naysayers or like criticism, you know? So, mm -hmm. so, so, so here's the thing. Like, even with some of my skits that I do post, yeah, uh, sometimes I get like, I don't want to say weird comments yeah but but it's it's comments that and then like i said i'm an open-minded person so i yeah. i like i like i understand my sudanese people so i know not all of them are going to have some type of sense of humor not all of them are are are, are going to take my videos the yeah. way they're supposed to be taken yeah they're always going to find something within whatever, whatever it is that you're posting and try to turn it into something else that it wasn't yeah. even supposed to be so like i said um yeah i get um uh, I get uh, certain comments sometimes, and I just read it. I don't take it the wrong way, but mm -hmm. when I read it, I'm like, okay, this person obviously they're going through something in life to where they don't even laugh, or like they don't even understand the concept of the uh, of the video. Yeah, but they just taking the wrong way. It's like, no, this is comedy. Like, this is not supposed. Or like, even like, it's like, like, uh, like sometimes when I do um, certain my, some of my um, skits in Arabic. Yeah. 
the Arabic speakers in Sudan, wherever it is, when they hear me speaking Arabic, they're like, oh, it's not even perfect. That's not how you say it. But I'm like, it's, this is comedy. It's not supposed to be perfect. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's, it, it's things like that. It's like, it's not supposed to be perfect. Mm -hmm. But the way they see it, they want it to be perfect. But I'm like, that's not how comedy works. Sometimes comedy is going to be perfect. But most of, like, when it's not perfect, that's when it's funny. Yeah. Because you think they're trying to fix it. So, like, that's the, that's the best part about it. But it's like, like I said, some, some of them don't understand. But, yeah, um, I don't, like I said, I know I'm naturally funny. Yeah. So, and I'm not gonna take any, I'm not gonna take all those crazy comments or <laughs> even if somebody come up come up to me on a, uh at a party whatever it is and tell me something I'm not gonna take it the wrong way. Yeah. Because they saw it the way they saw it, but I know what I put out there. Yeah, I feel so, like sometimes it's like people take your context out of you know take things out of context mm -hmm. and they kind of yeah. like kind of like put it in their own perceptions of like oh. Mm -hmm. But you're like, nah, this is just for educational purpose or for like, you know, commentary purpose. You're supposed yeah. to think and keep it pushing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but most people. And then, and then like with Sudanese sometimes, because like I said, most of my audience are Sudanese. Yeah. Sometimes they, they, they are too entitled to their own opinion. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing, wrong, there's nothing wrong with that. They feel like there is something wrong if they share their opinion. Mm -hmm. It's like, bro, sis. Share your opinion. Like the, I'm not gonna be mad at you for for your own opinion. Yeah. But it, but it's like they say their own opinion sometimes, and then also want something in return. Like they want to turn to an argument. They're just saying something for an argument. But it's like I'm not gonna be mad because your opinion. That's your opinion. That's how you feel. I'm not gonna be mad about it. And it's but, like they get surprised. They get surprised when another student is acting a way like that. Because because most of the time, some of them are used to fighting, arguing, and turning things out of portion but it's like when they come across a Sudanese person and say oh it's your opinion like that's fine then they're like what that's when, it whenever things like this happen i always remember cardi b's speech in the award show she's like my head has make me famous <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what it plays in my mind you know right and then because for me like from a digital marketing perspective engagement counts what did they say right anything it's like it counts as a part of engagement i'm like okay keep keep writing keep writing I'm yeah, like, yeah, exactly whatever fits my bucket i will take it whatever it doesn't i'll just leave it there <laughs> right right yeah, and they get surprised yeah yeah <laughs> that is really crazy and then um before we run out of time i just wanted to know like where can people find you or your social media handle people that wanted to collaborate with you or they just want to kind of you know follow you and listen and watch some of your content where can they find you so Right now, I would say the biggest platform is TikTok at mm -hmm. J, um, J underscore official. That's where you will find me. That's the number one spot. And I just, um, I just opened a Facebook account. Um, mm -hmm. it is J, 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 A, Y space, J, A, Y. Mm -hmm. Um, and when you do look it up on Facebook, make sure you click people on the, where the search bar is. Make sure you click people because sometimes, it's uh where it says all so basically if you type a certain name everything will show basically but make sure you yeah. click people so it will show up quickly but it's jay space jay yeah. and then um my instagram is linked to my tiktok so that's easy as well just okay. click instagram and it will take you straight to my uh i mean click the instagram link on tiktok and it will take you straight to instagram and then as far as um as far as uh youtube i'm still working on that mm -hmm. um so that's soon to come but yeah TikTok oh. is the biggest is the biggest place that you find me on right now. Amazing, amazing. So I just want to say, you know, Jay, thank you so much for being here. It was a wonderful to get to know more about, you know, your comedy, your passions, and all the things that you do. And I hope that, you know, you continue doing everything that you're doing. And also I would love to see you later on blow up and become in a big big screen where I can be like, yeah, I remember Jay, you know? <laughs> So that's something I would really, really, really hope. And I am a very, very big advocate of like, you know, South Sudanese youth that are doing anything significant that needs to be shown. I am really wanted to rally behind you guys. And it's really an honor to have you in this channel. And for those who are watching us, make sure to go follow him on TikTok, support, share those videos so that we can get more engagement and also link with him in case you're a comedian and you want to work and you you love his content and you feel like you guys can resonate also link with him jay it was a pleasure and an honor to have you here well thanks for having me too and i hope to be back here thank you have a great one take care you too Bye.
I'm on it I just wanna be iconic Sipping on a gin and tonic Got me going off on a mindless topic, yeah If I ever play, I'll